Hello, my name is Carl Schultz. I'm the director of the Genesis Personal Development Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm an author of 15 Catholic books on biblical spirituality, papal teachings, personal growth and potential fulfillment, and pastoral care. And I'm going to be introducing you to a program called A Popular Guide to God's Word. And by that I mean looking at the Pope's teachings not just Francis, but going back to the modern popes, John XXIII, particularly St. Paul VI, and seeing how much of what they teach has a popular impact. In other words, it's very down to earth and it can be adapted by people in daily life. Now, one of the reasons I'm using the term popular and then some of the other terms with it are popularity, how we embrace the teachings of the pope. We, we, we look at their impact for our lives and popularization, sharing those with others and then a populist movement, meaning to get behind the Pope, to listen to what he's saying and to share that and particularly the documents that they publish which are wonderful. So that's what we'll be doing in the next uh, number of videos and we'll be particularly focusing on Pope Francis' teaching and Heroic Elise, which is when he instituted the third Sunday in ordinary time as the Sunday of the Word of God. And unfortunately, many dioceses and parishes didn't perhaps take it seriously enough. They did the rubrics, they did the, the basic ta um, uh, sacraments and so forth, but they didn't give it a full measure. So we're going to do that because he wants it to be a year-long celebration. So that's basically it. Um, this is for not just Catholics, but what I call disaffected Catholics, Catholics who've had a bad experience. And it's interesting, the Pope can be your great advocate, particularly Francis, because he has given a number of talks that I'll be discussing where he talks about the harm done by Catholics, including within the bureaucracy, both the Vatican and the diocesan bureaucracy, as well as the parishes, ministers of the gospel, so to speak. So he's very empathetic to that. So disaffected Catholics, people who, Protestants as well, particularly because of the biblical teaching of the popes and biblical, Catholic biblical scholarship has relevance to, to non-Catholics as well. So that's what we're going to be doing. And um, my website's carl at aschultz.com. You can see it on your uh, uh, site there. And I welcome your questions and comments. And thank you very much for your attention. And I look forward to sharing further with you.